Hi, and welcome to Trans DIY. Recently, my condo flooded with water, which meant that the carpet had to be removed and replaced. This is the second time in five years that I've had to do this, so this time I decided to put down a waterproof vinyl floor. But first, I decided to get rid of this old, ugly, gray tile here in the entryway and in the kitchen and dining area. To do that, I was faced with renting a heavy-duty automatic floor scraper at about $100 a day, or buying this handheld manual floor scraper for $20. This is a little demonstration video and why I chose the handheld scraper over the large heavy-duty scraper. As I mentioned earlier, the uh, rental of the heavy-duty scraper was going to be $100 a day, plus I had to pick it up and drop it off and leave another $100 for a deposit. So I went with this handheld scraper, which overall worked pretty good. Use of it is fairly straightforward. Simply lay the blade flat on the floor and push hard and fast against the edge of the tile. You may want to play around with the angle of the scraper. You may experience the tile breaking in a table tapered edge where the scraper then rides up and over the tile instead of going underneath it. When that happens, I just used a hammer to break up the tile a little more and then went back to the scraper. For a $20 scraper, this worked great for a small kitchen and dining room, which was about 150 square feet combined, plus this entryway. However, using it did wear me out and I had to take several breaks. Adding up just the actual work time, it probably took about two hours to get all of the tile out of the kitchen and dining area and it took a little over six minutes to remove this entryway, uh, which I sped up to spare you five minutes. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you would like to stay updated on my DIY projects, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.